What's going on, Pokemon trainers? That's right, I'm Trainer Connor, and I am here with my first Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle video. Thank you all for coming. You notice a new overlay here. I made that myself. Hope you all like that. And, yeah, my first ever Ultra Sun and Moon battle video. No high quality because I need to still update my original Pokemon Moon version. Which has the capture card in it. Um, once I do that, I can probably record in high quality later on. But for now, I'm recording with my uh, my phone camera. And so yeah, we have an awesome in-game battle here. Which, that's going to be against Alice. One of my roommates is named Alice. And, you know, she's, she's pretty good. She's getting into the game. And you see that my team is looking pretty good as well, so let's go and analyze what we're dealing with here. I've got all three starters, Primarina, Gisigui, and Sunnyor, and uh, Vitavolt. The new Lycanroc form, which Lycanroc Dusk form, has the uh, Lycanroc Z power move, Splintered Storm Shards, I think, and then Mirror Shadow. My opponent has Three legendary, three non-legendary. Leganagel, the new Ultra Beast, uh, Necrozma, Forges. His starter to be in Sunny Roar as well. It's really awesome. So let's get started here. I'm going to start with Primarina. And my opponent is going to begin with in Sunny Roar. I do apologize for the lag in there. It's a little out of there in the video, but it's okay. Now he goes into Leganagel on the first turn. I noticed that, you know, because He's an insider or I don't want to go for the sparkling aria because it's pretty obvious. He, he knows I'm going to go for it, so I kind of changed it up a little bit. So I just go for the moon blast, and we do catch the Naganagel off guard a little bit. I go into Lycanroc, the Dusk form. I get poison from the poison jab that he goes for, and that's not looking too bright there. Fortunately, it's only regular poison. Therefore, I could probably stay in a little bit longer if I have to. I go for a stomping tantrum, which is which is also a good move, uh, but not against Noivern. Noivern is part flying, so I'm thinking, okay, I can go with my Z power move right now. I believe I, I actually go a little bit early, in my opinion, if I went for it later on. Uh, but that's okay. Splinter Storm Shards is an awesome animated move here. And look at that. It's it's looking very bright here. Um sorry no referring, but you're gonna get destroyed right here with that Z power move. For those who are wondering, it's brand new. So in Ultra Sun and Moon, you have new Z Power moves going in here. Uh in the past you didn't see that, so it's brand new. You gotta really enjoy that. Now here he goes into Zekarazma. One of the main legendaries in Ultra Sun Moon. He has a new move called Prismatic Laser, or maybe it's not, I don't know, but it's a pretty strong move. He, I just go for the Stealth Rocks. Knowing that I am on the last life here, I just go for the Stealth Rocks. I could have gone for Crunch, but I didn't really see that happening, to be honest. I go with a Vickervolt here. Vickervolt is actually really awesome uh, as a Pokemon. Goes for Thunder Wave. I paralyze Necrozma, and then I switch into Desigui. The reason I'm doing this is because Desigui is pretty slow, so having a Pokemon that's slower than Desigui would be pretty epic. I go for the uh, Sword Stance here, because I know you have to recharge for a turn as well, because, you know, his Zematic Laser is a pretty strong move. You don't want to keep using it, otherwise he'll be overpowered somehow. And so I go for the Sword Stance. Use Spirit Shackle at plus two. That's going to finish off the Necrozma. He goes into his Sign of World next. And that is not a good sign. I just, I just leave it in the city. Why? No reason to switch out. I guess I could have gone into my Primarina or someone else like that. But that's okay. We want this to be an even battle. So I don't want to have anyone go beyond their limits. I go into Mirror Shadow, use this U-turn, and then I go into my own Insight War. So we have an awesome moment where we have two of the same Pokemon facing against each other. It's going to be a, a little bit boring here, 
but we go, uh, well, you know what? We're going to save that for later on. <laughs> um, I go and get, or he goes into Forges. With Forges, that's a physical move. If I went for a special attacking move, which I don't have any special moves, Forges would have taken the hit a lot better. But Forges is going to take him out. Now we're back to the Insignia War versus Insignia War. I do this for uh, a couple of reasons. Number one, I really don't want to just obliterate Insignia War right away. Just because he could stop off damage coming in and he's almost dead. I want him to kind of, I want to give him a chance is what I'm saying. So we have that happen. But then I go for my own Darkest Lariat and um, the Garagel, the new Ultra Beast. Goes down to the Stealth Rocks. This is a very interesting match, right? It's gonna be really quick as well. Here's the last Pokemon that we have to deal with. You see, and yes, I could have gone with the Darkest Varia again. Why do that when I have other Pokemon? <laughs> I do have that uh, option available. I will use it as a last resort. But let's have Vickabolt and others deal with you see. If you have a second type move, this would have done a lot more than Swift. Swift is only going to do minimum damage. So yeah, we do have Primarina. Don't really use him that much in this battle, but um... Yeah, if UC had extra sensory or psychic, probably would have done a lot more damage. That's what my opponent should have done, but Alice is going to be using uh, Swift a little bit there. And then we defeat Alice using Primarina. That was a short battle, but hey, short and sweet on the first match. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I do have another match coming for you in a few more days. It's going to be recorded in lower quality again until I figure out how to use Pokemon Moon version with Ultra Sun and Moon uh, to record stuff. But yeah, thank you, Alice, for the match, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one as well. Have a great week. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Goodbye, Chance.